Kristina and Vyacheslav had tied the knot almost two decades ago after meeting at their first job. Their connection was instant as they quickly discovered that they were on the same wavelength. Vyacheslav proposed to Kristina and they exchanged vows. When Kristina became pregnant, she left her job, but her first pregnancy wasn't an easy one. After giving birth, she went on maternity leave to care for their daughter. For her second pregnancy, Christina decided not to return to work. Her husband was delighted that she could focus on their family and home, and she excelled at it. Meanwhile, Vyacheslav's career progressed smoothly, and he eventually became the director of his company, providing well for his family. As their children grew up and became more independent, Christina settled into a routine and chose not to return to work. This allowed her the freedom to pursue her hobbies and sports activities, and she maintained a youthful appearance despite her age. Their eldest daughter had even started her own family and moved abroad, while their youngest son was now 19 years old. The woman and her daughter often caused confusion when seen together as they looked like sisters, much to the woman's delight. Their centrally located apartment was spacious, but during the summer months, Christina preferred to relocate to a cottage outside the city, surrounded by nature and fresh air. She enjoyed tending to her vegetable garden and flower beds to make light and healthy salads. Although her husband also enjoyed spending time at the cottage, his job required him to be in the city. Consequently, Christina spent most of her time at the house. During the summer, Christine and her husband were on vacation at their country house when their son Kostya arrived with his friend Staz. Both 19-year-olds had just finished their exams and wanted a short break. Kostya was not keen on leaving the city since he had grown up going to the cottage and found it unexciting. However, Staz, who lived in the urban jungle, was intrigued by the idea of a holiday in a place with all the conveniences and amenities of civilization. When Christina saw Stas, she was stunned. The woman had forgotten how youthful and attractive men could be, with their vibrant energy, cheerful smiles, and lively glint in their eyes. However, even after all these years, Christina had managed to maintain her own zest for life. Yet, spending so much time with the same man, who had become less active in their intimate relationship, had gradually extinguished her inner fire. It was a typical weekday, and Vyacheslav was away at work. Christina, her son, and his friend Staz were sitting on the porch, sipping on homemade lemonade. Caustic, why didn't you invite your girlfriend? It would have been more fun, she asked her son, before turning to Staz and inquiring, are you seeing anyone? It's tough for me to find someone my own age. It's just not the same, replied Stanislav with a hint of wistfulness. Christine was aroused by the way he looked at her. She wondered if he felt the same way. Kostya laughed and nudged his friend in the shoulder. Come on, you've already met half the group. Stifling her desire, Christine laughed too, but continued to steal glances at Stas. The summer heat was fueling her desire which seemed to intensify as she grew older. However, her husband was often away due to work and didn't share the same passion. Staz, on the other hand, seemed to be purposely walking around the yard shirtless, doing pull-ups and push-ups every morning, which only made Christine more infatuated with him. One hot afternoon, Kostya went to his bedroom after lunch, and Christine knew she wouldn't be interrupted by her son for the next few hours. Her husband was at work, and the temptation to change into a bathing suit was strong. She usually did so in the summer, as their property had a high fence surrounding it, and no nosy neighbors could peek in. However, having a house guest made her hesitant. As she lay on a blanket next to the house, reading, Stas suddenly appeared. As he stepped out into the sun, the young man wore only his bathing suit, clearly ready to soak up some rays. Christine, you're going to burn out. Look what I have, he said, pointing to a bottle of sunscreen. Let me put it on you, he'd offered. Taken aback, Christine hesitated. On one hand, she was tempted to accept, but on the other hand, she knew it wouldn't be right. Come on, slipped out of her lips, and it was too late to turn back. 
Stanislav got to work, and Christine enjoyed the sensation of his hands on her skin. As they continued, his hands lingered on her thighs for a little too long, and she realized that he wanted more. They gave in to their desire right there on the street. From that day on, they were consumed by their passion. They waited for Kostya to take his afternoon nap so they could be together, but eventually they lost touch with reality and took bigger risks. One day, they sent Kostya on an errand to a store far away and secluded themselves in Christine's bedroom. Halfway there, the young man realized he had forgotten his cash and there were no terminals nearby. Kostya made a U-turn and headed back to the house, recalling that his mother usually kept some bills on her bedside table. Upon entering her bedroom, he was abruptly interrupted by distinct noises emanating from behind the door. It had only been two days since his father left, leaving only his mother and a friend behind. In a moment of realization, the shocking scene became clear to him. He burst open the door and witnessed the dreadful sight. Infuriated, he screamed at the lovers, asking if they had lost their minds. Christina quickly wrapped herself in a sheet, while Stas frantically searched for his swimming trunks. Kostya marched up to his now ex-friend and slapped him across the face in anger. He then glared with contempt at his mother, warning her that he would tell his father everything and stressing the severity of the situation. In a state of confusion, Kostya immediately called his father to inform him of what had happened. Vyacheslav arrived an hour later, leading to a chaotic scene of yelling and cursing. The friends had to leave for town, never speaking to each other again that day. Eventually, the couple divorced and spent a significant amount of time dividing their property. Kostya ceased visiting his mother and instead increased his communication with his father to fulfill his sense of duty towards him. When Kosti confided in his sister, she failed to comprehend their mother's behavior. Being deeply family-oriented, she denounced such conduct. Christina started living alone, and the money she owed seemed sufficient for the long term. However, she began to acquire new skills and searched for job opportunities. The end of her marriage to Slava, whom she had been emotionally attached to for almost half of her life, troubled her. Nevertheless, she realized that she could now switch partners without any hindrance. In the beginning, Christina tried to locate Stas, but he appeared to have disappeared. This saddened her, but she promptly found a substitute for him. Christina transformed her usual lifestyle entirely, which her close associates couldn't accept causing them to turn their backs on her.